Good morning, good evening, and uh, wherever you are, it's Keith. Um, right, a bit further on, uh, we've now hocked these two uh, monsters onto the AC. Um, one of the things you need to ca take care of is obviously phase rotation. Um, you might think you're perfectly good, but honestly, use your phase rotation meter. Um, for some reason, um, I've just wired these up, and for some reason, I followed everything correctly and the phase rotation was backwards. So it might be a problem in our building or somewhere. So I checked this, swapped swap two phases across, obviously. Um, we got the phase rotation spot on, so I just used a small phase rotation meter. Um, right, we're set up. I've got my CT coils on my AC. Um, the software, the beauty of using it is exactly the same software as our previous system. So if you're used to using even our three kilowatt and you move on to a 50 kilowatt and bigger, it's the same software. But one thing to bear in mind, we're now on big boy stuff. Look at the powers. So if I go back into a battery charge, I'm actually charging the battery at two amp. Remember the voltage of the battery is not 48 volts. The battery is actually 650 volts. And you can see here now, um, the battery is 635 volts. So two amp at 635 is already 1.2 kilowatt. So what, be careful, look at your charge current because of your MCB, so look at your MCB size, etc. So that's one thing to bear in mind. The other thing is you, 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 your inverter limiter. So you've got your, you've got your, you've got your limiters here, um, your various limiters. Um, consider the powers, the powers are much bigger. So on this one, we've, this is on the MPPT, but on the power of the inverter, I've actually, it comes in at 50 kilowatt. So when you're setting it up, I, my advice is just drop it right down, drop your charge current right down, put your battery charge really, really low, uh, make sure everything is good and working properly because you don't want to be pumping hundreds of amps back if you've got a CT coil the wrong way or your MCB is not good. Take it slowly, slowly. So these two are working absolutely perfect now. Um, we're actually charging the battery and you can see here, charging the battery. Okay, that's it. So you can see it's charging the battery at a kilowatt. Um, it just have to bear in mind we're onto the big currents. Most of the general setup is exactly the same. I mentioned it's got two battery ports, so most of it is exactly the same. But just bear in mind of your currents and your power is much higher. And especially when you look at your battery charge current, you might think two amp or ten amp or twenty amp. Before, when we talk about 20 amp at um, 48 volt, it, um, it, it's very little, it's very little. But now we're talking about 20 amp at 650 volts, it's massive power. It's 12 times the energy. So just remember that, um, it's just something that's very important. So I'll carry on more, this is the first introduction. Uh, we'll go in more detail later on. Thanks for following.